My name is Condon, Condon McLeod, and here we are at the Pavilion, the all-ages venue here in Halifax on the Central Common, right next to the skate park. My involvement in the Halifax music scene started back in 1991 with Café Olé on Barrington Street. And that whole concept began only because I had a daughter who was, I think she was about 16 at the time, and she was going outside. Now this is February, the coldest night of the year. I think it might have been like a minus 23, minus 24. And she's going out to hook up with her friends to hang out off the school steps at Westmount. So I thought, isn't there some place where you guys can go that's uh, warm and safe and entertaining? And there wasn't. There, we were hard pressed to find something where they could go just to socialize. So that was kind of the impetus for getting Cafe Ole off the ground. Somebody suggested they had seen the venue and they thought this would be a good venue for live bands. So we tried it out and the first band that started there, that played there, was Sloan. So it was off to a good start. It was just a place for young people to go uh, below the drinking age, um, where they could hear live music. And it worked really well, exposed a lot of new bands, and as I said, it was a place for kids to go. Café Olé had been operating for about five and a half years, um, and at that time, Neptune, right behind us, was doing some major renovations, $15 million worth of renovations. And after everything was said and done, it turned out that there wasn't enough, in we shared a common wall with Neptune Theatre and it turned out that there wasn't enough sound insulation between the buildings. And when we had really heavy bass bands, the bass would filter into Neptune Theatre. So we were out in the street. We had to, that was it. That was, that was the end of Café Olé. And then Bob Harvey, uh, account, the councillor for Bedford, I believe, came forward at City Council and realized the need for a venue for young people to go to. I think he was being founded by a lot of parents in the Bedford area. And this is how we ended up at the pavilion. This is the building on the Central Common. What the pop explosion is doing now is kind of what Cafe Ole and the pavilion have been doing all along. Major bands will come through. And what's really great is that we can have local bands opening, opening up for these uh, national, extremely popular, uh, famous bands. The last band in support of Camp LA! Yeah. Okay, pump them up! Yeah! Like we were doing it, we were having a good time doing it. Cafe LA in the pavilion, that is. And it wasn't until like years later when people come up to you and go out of their way to thank you for providing a place for them to go when they were 14, 15, 16, whatever, to hear some great music and to hang out with their friends. That's when it really started to resonate, was years later down the road. And what's, what's really nice is that a lot of people that started out perhaps as sound techs have gone on to make it a, a career and have run across them in different capacities here in the city. And it's so nice to think that you know, they got their start at Cafe Olé or the Pavilion and have actually enjoyed it enough to pursue it as a career. When we were booking bands, it didn't lean towards any particular genre. Because I was pretty green, we just took everybody. It could be any, anybody from anything from metal to hip hop to alternative rock. Uh, pop rock, you name it, even a little bit of gospel rock sprinkled in there. So everybody had an opportunity to play, not just once, because sometimes your first play, you may, your first time playing, you may bomb. So you got a second opportunity and you got a third opportunity. And uh, it, it worked extremely well. <laughs>